In the last lesson, we learned how to construct and compose filter documents. We also learned about query operators to express criteria other than simple equality. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to query arrays and subdocuments using dot notation. Dot notation is how MongoDB allows us to query document substructure. Let's use the find one method to retrieve one of my favorite laureates. Walter Cohn co-developed an important technique for computational chemistry. Notice that the prizes field is an array. In this case, the array has one element with data on Cohn's two-way share of the 1998 prize in chemistry. Note also that a laureate may have many affiliations for a prize. The affiliations field of each prize subdocument is an array. To fit text on this slide, I use parentheses to form multi-line strings, and I show only part of the document. MongoDB allows you to query document substructure using dot notation. Here's a count of laureates. We reach into the prizes array to query on the affiliations field across prizes. From there, we reach again, this time to query on the name field across affiliations. We count laureates with at least one prize affiliation name as specified. The dot notation gives a full path to a field from the document root. I'm curious how many laureates had an affiliation in Berkeley, California when they received a prize. Here's my query. Go Bears! MongoDB allows you to specify and enforce a schema for a collection, but this is not required. For example, fields do not need to have the same type of value across documents in a collection. In the case of this laureate, there is an empty aff affiliation associated with his prize. Another accommodation in MongoDB is that of field presence. Even root-level fields don't need to be present in all documents. In this document, for example, the born country field is absent. Using the exists operator, we can query for the existence or non-existence of fields. Here we see that many laureates documents do not have a born country field. Do all laureates have a prizes field? With the help of the exists operator, we see that, in fact, they do. But are any of those prizes fields empty arrays? I hope not. We can check using dot notation to access array elements. This borrows from JavaScript syntax. Here we see a filter document for the criteria that a value exists for the field zero within the prizes field. You can reference an array element by its numerical index using dot notation. Thus, this expression counts documents that have a non-empty prizes array. We see, to our relief, that all laureate documents contain at least one prize. Are there laureates with more than one prize? Yes! We see that Marie Curie is in this group, along with a few other people you may recognize. We've learned about dot notation to query array and subdocument fields. We've also learned about the exists operator to check for the presence of fields. Now let's explore.